You said there were 14 carrots, Peg, not 13. <gasps> Looks like one of the carrots was taken away. Huh? It was. Whoa. If you have 14 of something and take away one, you get 13. It can all be explained by subtraction. You say it's subtraction, I say it's the action of a spooky frantic weird gigantic ghost. You say it's addition, I say it's a vision of a fool who scares us all and me the most. Friday isn't my day when it's number 13. I'm blasted with disasters more than I've ever seen. I'm buried in bagels, I'm covered with muck. 13, your bad luck. Okay, so the dozen big. 14 carrots were a bad idea. Too close to 13 for comfort. But the camp talent show doesn't have anything to do with 13. The trumpet will play has three vowels. If you add one to three, you get four. If you take away one from three, you get two. Either way, you're nowhere near 13. You just keep on saying that taking away can't explain the spooky nightmare that I'm in. You drink a little plusing, can finish all my fussing, and make me settle down and skip and grin. The drum set only has three pieces. A guitar only has six strings. Look again, Peg. <gasps> Besides the usual six strings, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. And six plus seven equals... Thirteen. And you said the trumpet has three valves? Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten more, which equals thirteen. Okay, officially creepy. It is strange. Want to take a peek at the drum set? I'd rather not. Don't do it, Peg. Besides the snare, bass, and cymbal, it has ten more pieces for a grand total of. Wait it! I can't. I won't. You must. Thirteen. So bizarre. Really strange. I do believe 13's unlucky. I do believe 13's unlucky. See what I mean? Okay, gophers, I'm turning on the lights. <laughs> the lights aren't coming on. Except for that. 13! 13. 13. Ah! Sleeping out means freaking out of Friday 13. We're blasted with disasters. More than we've ever seen. We're tangled in things that you beat. Whoa. Or pluck. 13, your bad luck. First, we didn't get stuck in these instruments because of the number 13. We got stuck because we were running around totally scared. We all need to take a deep breath and count backwards from five to calm down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now from eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Do you know how many numbers we just counted all together? 42. Five plus eight more is 13. We all just counted 13 numbers. But we have to have costumes, right? So we can get treats. Uh-huh. I'm a mailbox. When people put mail in my flap, I keep it safe. I'm a fire hydrant. I spray water to put out fires. Your costumes are so cool. What'll I be? You can be anything you want, Richard, thanks to our... Really big box of materials. You could be a robot. No. Or a leopard. No. Or a coat rack. Actually, no. Those costumes aren't me. I have no idea what to be, and it's trick-or-treat time. I've got a big... Problem! Mm, don't no, cry, no, no, Richard. No, 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 no. But I'm gonna solve this problem all by myself. So you guys wait outside. Really? As I create a costume that will totally take you by surprise. Maybe even scare you. Mwahaha! <laughs> maybe you will scare us, Richard. <laughs> Just maybe you will. <laughs> I could make a costume out of these, but that's what they're expecting. So maybe I'll make a costume out of that metal stuff. Whoa! Help! I look funny. I'll go show Peg and Cat. Richard's 
taking a while, right? I don't see him in there. Roar! Whoa! Great tiger costume, Richard. You almost made Cat think there was a real tiger right on our front steps. Almost. You made a totally believable costume. And so... Problem solved. The problem is solved. Roar! Good roar. But a real tiger roar is more like... Roar! 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 All right. Fellow trick-or-treaters, Something to say. I've been scared a lot tonight. Oh, that's okay. I was scared by a clanking. I was scared by a roar. Those things won't startle me anymore. You tell it, mailbox. But one thing tonight still scares me. What? That treats might be given unfairly. I hope not. If Greatest ever Halloween night. Trick or treat. Trick or treating is so preteen. We're so over Halloween. No tiger suit scares us. Or metal space drone. Or mailbox. Or hydrant. Or ghost. Just for moon. If we divide our treats up equally, it will be the greatest, greatest ever Halloween night. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. If we divide fifteen by five, it's three. That's three. For the monster whose cams fit tight, three. For the ghost who's spooky and white, three. For the tiger roaring worse than his bite, three. For the hydrant helping firefighters fight, three. For the mailbox who delivers just right. On, On the greatest, greatest ever Halloween night. Can I pull the whistle now? Can I? Not yet, Cat. Cat's the engineer who drives the train. I'm the conductor who makes sure everything's running smoothly. And see that hat? That's Mac in the back manning the caboose. Most people like the engine, but my heart has always been in my caboose. Tonight, we're making a trip all the way from Chattanooga to Katmandu. Can I pull the whistle now? Can I believe? Not yet, Cat. We still need We're gonna choo choo out of Chattanooga on our way to Kathmandu. So step right up and watch your step. A bunch of tickets as you pass through. There's a car for sleeping, a car for eating, and one where your bags are stored. We're gonna choo choo out of Chattanooga, so toot toot all aboard! It's the amazing scientist Marie Curie. Pardon me, Peg. Is that the cat who drives the choo-choo? Why, yes, I am. Red the Slam Are you still collecting those glowing rocks? I stuffed a couple inside my socks, but I also brought six lollipops. Ludwig von Beethoven, he writes like the best tunes ever. Peg und Cat, you both know that I love composing zines. Leaving town, I wrote them down and brought along all five of these. One, two, three, four, and these one's five. It's Nimrod the Clown. Watch your big shoes as you enter the tree. <laughs> I lose it completely when clowns entertain. And look, she brought seven bananas. Funny. And here comes the farmer with his 100 chickens. I brought 10 trays and his tray holds 10, so I can count my chicks and never lose a hen. Gee, welcome aboard. Can I pull a whistle peg now? Now? Looks like everybody's on board. So go ahead, cat, pull that. Not so fast. Inspector Ramon, what are you doing here? And why are you keeping me from pulling my whistle? Sorry, cat but I've been hot on the trail of a thief.
who might be on this train. <gasps> we'll keep a lookout for any suspicious behavior, Inspector. Do what you can. Well, what are you waiting for, Cat? Pull that whistle. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Finally! We're gonna trip to Apple Chattanooga on our way to Cat.